south mumbai facing a near shutdown with a massive maratha kranti morcha taking place in its street 10 lakh people marching in the streets of mumbai there you can see uh, the the traffic police was ready for this they had issued advisories and key roads in this area are shut down uh, schools have also been shut today and uh, this march from baikola to azad maidan is taking place a uh, 10 lakh people said to be participating in this march through mumbai street, uh, streets which is a silent march it is a silent maratha march with the uh, demands being made uh, by the marchers it's focused on uh, quotas for marathas in educational institutions as well as government jobs they're also demanding amendments to the SC ST act and farm loan waivers in fact uh, orphans of farmers who uh, kill themselves are also present during this march which is taking place from uh, baikola it began there at around 10 this morning to azad maidan and 10 lakh people are marching through the streets of mumbai as we said traffic advisories had been issued of, ahead of this a mega maratha march uh, taking place and schools have also been uh, closed in mumbai in anticipation of uh, traffic being uh, blocked due to the marches there you can see uh, 10 lakh people uh, marching uh, participating in this march from Baikula to Azad Maidan. Well, let's go across to Anand Zanani, who joins us from Azad Maidan. And Anand, we're seeing uh, that uh, you know that sight of people. The entire road is taken up by the marchers, who are uh, you know uh, it's a silent march. They're going through the street. It's absolutely silent. And uh, take us through uh, some of the demands that they're making. राजू and uh, it's the women who traditionally lead this march uh, so they are at the forefront of this march and uh, you know they uh, tend to lead this procession through the city but yes as far as the demands are concerned gargi uh, the main focus here is on uh, getting reservation for maratha community in jobs and in educational institutions the maratha has claimed that they've lost out on uh, educational opportunities and government jobs as a result of other uh, quotas for the backward community and they want their share in it uh, the previous regime had actually gone ahead and uh, it brought in reservation which is later on put on hold by the bombay high court so now uh, the matter rests with the court which has actually asked a government to appointed committee to look into the data which really substantiates the claims of giving reservation for the maratha community but yes this all started in july last year when uh, uh, you know a girl a minor girl was raped in kopardi and uh, that is something that uh, triggered these protests around 57 of these vast protests have taken place across maharashtra the timing of this particular protest is fairly significant because currently the monsoon session of the maharashtra assembly is underway so this is also a way of building pressure on the government to do something expeditiously about uh, this long pending demand of uh, giving about at least 16% of reservations to the maratha community so uh, the chief minister has been holding uh, back channel conversations and talks with the organizers of this uh, Uh, uh you know huge maratha protests but uh, nothing really nothing substantial has emerged from those conversations and discussions uh, we are told that uh, there is going to be a discussion inside the assembly uh, you know that is something that is also listed for the business of the house so all political parties which have in a sense unanimously supported the demand in fact even the government in a sense uh, says that its hands are tied till the time the court is seized of the matter so those deep demands will be reiterated by political parties you know in the monsoon uh, session of the assembly which takes place today itself interestingly uh, an mla from the bjp ms ashish shelar had come to this venue and uh, ever since these protests started they claimed that their 
you know, uh, in a sense, backing has been uh, non-political. So they, uh, you know, he was actually heckled by the crowds over here because he is obviously uh, an MLA from the ruling party, the BJP. And crowds, in a sense, shooed him away by saying that you first act on our demands and then only do you have the right to be a part of this uh, Maratha Morcha gathering at Azad Maidan. So that's the sort of, uh, uh, those are the kind of scenes that are playing out here at Azad Maidan. Azad Maidan is a very really large ground, but however, uh, you know, the organizers of this particular march claim that there will be 10 lakh people converging from across uh, Mumbai and also neighboring districts. So it will be interesting to see whether this ground is able to contain the crowds. But uh, clearly all roads leading up to, uh, you know, Azad Maidan are painted in a saffron hue with people carrying these saffron flags and chanting slogans of Shivaji.